Hello everyone, welcome back to another crochet tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make these lazy crochet granny squares. This is just a modified granny square using V-stitch that gives this nice open lacy look. To start this granny square, grab any yarn and hook combination that suits what you're making. And we're going to start with a magic circle. I just want to make a note that for this project, anytime I say V-stitch, I'm referring to a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So we're going to start with a chain of four. And this counts as our double crochet, chain one, for our first V-stitch. Then I'm going to double crochet into the center circle. So now we have one V-stitch. Then I'm going to chain two for a corner and place another V-stitch into the center. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then I'm going to chain two for the next corner and place another V-stitch into the center circle. Then I'm going to chain two for the next corner, tighten the circle here, place my final V-stitch into the center, and finish this round with a chain two. So I'm going to tighten this here, and once I have my chain two, I'm going to find the third chain in my chain of four and slip stitch this together. Okay, so for our first round, we have four V-stitch and four corners that are made up of chain two. Tighten the center here as well. For this granny square, I like to start the next round by coming back this way, so I'm always going to be starting in the corner that's to the right here. So for this round, I'm going to insert my hook into this corner right here, and I'm going to make one single crochet. So we're going to alternate between rows of V-stitch and rows of chains. So for this row of chains, we're going to do single crochet, chain four, skip the V-stitch, and come into the corner with a single crochet. And in the corners, we're going to do one single crochet, chain four, and one single crochet into that same space. Then we're going to repeat this, so I'm going to chain four, skip over the next V-stitch, and go into the corner with one single crochet, chain four, one single crochet. Now we're going to chain four, skip over this V-stitch and go into the next corner with our chain, or sorry, single crochet, chain four, single crochet. Then once again, chain four, skip our V-stitch here, go into the corner with one single crochet chain four, and since this is our last corner, which is the corner we started in with one single crochet, we're just going to join underneath the single crochet with a slip stitch. And that completes our chain round. So you can see the corners here have a bit of a bump, but that's what we're going for. So for the next round, we're going to be working V-stitch again. So I'm going to come back into this corner to the right here, and I'm going to do that for every round. So I'm going to come back, insert my hook, grab my yarn, and slip stitch here, pulling it tight so that there's no lumps. And then I'm going to chain four, which counts as my double crochet chain one, and I'm going to put one 
double crochet into that same spot. So that's our first V stitch in the corner here. Now we're going to put one V stitch into each of these chain four spots. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And when we get to our corners, we're gonna do one V stitch, chain two, one more V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet for our V stitch, chain two, and place one more V stitch into that same corner. So our corners are made up of a V stitch, chain two, V stitch. Now we're going to place another V stitch into the next chain four. And when we get to our next corner, it's once again V stitch, chain two, V stitch. So one V stitch, or chain two, and one more V stitch into the corner. Now we're at our next chain four, we're gonna place a V stitch and our next corner V stitch chain two and V stitch. Back at our next chain four, just going in with one V stitch. And we're back at the beginning. So our corner here already has one V stitch in it. So I'm just going to place one more V stitch And I'm going to chain two, find the third chain in that initial chain four, insert my hook, and slip stitch that closed. So that's how we're going to do all of our V stitch rounds. And now we are back at a chain round. So for the chain round, I'm once again coming to the right here, and I'm going to single crochet into this corner space. Then I'm going to chain four, skip the next V stitch, go in between V stitches with a single crochet, chain four, skip the next V stitch, single crochet, chain four, skip the next V stitch and into the corner I'm going to single crochet chain four and single crochet all into that corner. Okay, and then this is just going to continue to repeat around. So chain four, single crochet between the V stitches, chain four, skip the next V stitch, Sometimes they pull apart and they're a little bit difficult to see, but this is the V stitch here. Single crochet between there. Chain four. And then we're back at our corner and into the corner we're going single crochet. Chain four. And single crochet into the corner. So I'm gonna repeat this all the way around until I get back to the start here where I will slip stitch underneath that single crochet. So I'm back here at the start. I have my first single crochet here. I'm going to insert my hook and slip stitch underneath. Now we're back to a V stitch row. So I'm working again in the corner to the right here of my hook. I'm gonna insert my hook, 
come through the back, grab my yarn, carefully pull it through, creating a slip stitch, and then I'm going to chain four. This is the beginning of my first V-stitch. Yarn over, double crochet, and that finishes my first V-stitch in the corner. So once again, I'm going to skip the single crochets, V-stitch into the chain four spaces. Skip the single crochet, V-stitch into that chain four. Back at the corner, go double crochet, chain one, double crochet for the start of our V stitch. Then I'm going to chain two, go with one more V stitch into the corner. And then this is going to repeat all the way until we get back to the start here, where we will slip stitch the pieces together and fasten off. Okay, so now I have my two V stitch in here. I'm finishing the V stitch rounds with a chain two, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain of that initial chain four. And then for this one, I just wanna keep them this size, so I'm going to chain one more and I can clip my yarn. And that is how you do the lacy V-stitch granny square. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that you enjoy this pattern. Let me know if you try it out for yourself and what you think about the design. If you guys do enjoy videos like this, please feel free to subscribe. It does help me out a lot. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.